Well, I, I think there's a, a number of things that, that we as, as parents and our caregivers and our caring adults can do to help um, when high school students are, are looking towards or entering into exams. So one is plan ahead, right? Figure out that schedule, what exam is when, and you know, and then booking in kind of like your study or your review time for that. I also think part of that plan is to ensure that there's enough rest time. That's sleep. We know how essential sleep is to brain function. And often most of us, including young people, they will um, actually cut into their sleep time for activities, but that's to the detriment. Our brain doesn't learn as well when we're chronically exhausted, our health is not as well, like physical, our emotional health suffers when we don't have enough sleep. So actually plan for that sleep. I know that sounds funny. Yeah. People often say, are you serious? Like, yes, it's this is the time you're going to bed and you don't waver from that. Even though you feel pressure, you've got more to do. So plan what that week looks like during exams. Plan study time, plan sleep time. Plan for fun time. That's important. Our brains need a rest. We need a reprieve. We need a break. Go outside, look out at a window, listen to some enjoyable music, um, watch a funny movie. Our brain needs to be able to shut off from that intense activity. It can be as small as five minute break. It can be as big as, as an hour break. And I think as parents, we can check in with our kids and we can say, hey, I'm about to go out for a walk. How about you join me? We don't need to talk, right? That's a problem lots of parents have is they wanna be talking a lot with their children. And in fact, it's really just about being. Just be with your children. Lots, lots of great things happen when we're just in the company of one another without the pressure of talking. So just go out for that walk or just bake those muffins or just, you know, bake that bread, do whatever it is that helps to relieve the brain of that, of that kind of pressure. The other thing I think that's um, helpful and what parents can do is say, look, I know you're trying your best and however it turns out, it's, it's going to be okay. We'll figure this out. Right. Because I think that pressure, like, you know, we in um, it's referred to as anticipatory anxiety. Right. And so, oh, I've got to get this mark. And if I don't get this mark, then this is going to happen. And then we can start catastrophizing. And before we know it, we've got ourselves in quite a state um, as opposed to just saying, hey, this is a tough situation. I can navigate it. I can handle whatever comes my way. You know, um, lots of people might have had to repeat a course. Lots of people, they still got where they wanted to go, even though they didn't have, you know, the outcomes that they wanted. It's okay. There's many different ways to get there. So then I think that strategy of self-talk um, that parents can help their children. Yeah, that's, that's incredibly valuable. And I, I really like the point, especially about scheduling and planning, because I find a lot of my peers, it's the day before the exam and they're up all night, they're cramming, right? But I think when parents can you know, be there for their children and say, hey, let's build a plan together. This is my schedule. Um, these are my courses. How can we build in time every day? Because I'm, I've definitely been a victim where I've, I've crammed or I you know, sacrificed my sleep for a job or a task. But I think if a, parents are mentoring that, and helping their students and helping their kids. Let's build a schedule. Let's be there um, to ensure that we're setting you up for success and it's not at the sacrifice of your sleep. I think that's incredibly valuable. So thank you for highlighting that. Well, I, I think first off to say to your child, let's make sure that you're not burning out. Like just that recognition that things might feel like it's too much or it's overwhelming or it's a lot. And the idea is, how do we do smaller steps before to prevent that spot where it feels really heavy? And so I think as parents, we need to recognize that our children, we can be pushing them, they can be pushing themselves to lift too much for too long. And so we have to be really attuned to that. We have to be really thinking about that. And I think that helps give permission. Look, you need to put that down right now. That's a little exhausting for you. I can see you're getting a little tired. You're not feeling quite yourself. Let's just put that down. Let's do something fun. What's that movie you like to watch? What's this, you know, this food we like to, we enjoy eating, this thing we like to do. 
that helps rejuvenate or replenish ourselves.